yep, I'm going there. It's not even December yet and I've got the Christmas hat out. Because today we're going to make some nog. This is a recipe that I included in my healthy holiday survival guide, which you can pick up on my website. There's a link down below. Now this is a recipe that I came up with as an experiment because I was at my brother's and my brother is a little bit of a nog addict. Every year he will go out and figure out where to buy his soy nog and he will buy, I don't know, five containers of it and will proceed to go through it one per day. <laughs> so there was a day I was at his place for Christmas and he ran out of soy nog and of course those stores were closed because it was a holiday and I said you know what I can make you some nog let's just get some almond milk and some spices and make it up so that's what I did and that's what I'm gonna show you today so first thing I'm gonna do is get some non-dairy milk whichever one you like this is one that I made myself it's a sunflower milk and I have quite a few recipes on my channel now for various types of milks so I'll link to those and you can choose whichever one if you want to make your own or you can just pick some up and I'm going to turn this on to medium high and then I'm going to add some spices so I'm going to do cinnamon and I'm going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon now I'm making two cups of nog but you can do whatever you want with this recipe. It obviously scales pretty nicely. Just be cautious when you're using the spices. Um, if you double this, you may not need exactly double the spices because they are, uh, they are pretty potent. A little bit goes a long way. So that's nutmeg. So I'm just using cinnamon and nutmeg. You can throw in some allspice here if you want to give it a little kick. Uh, you could put in some ginger if you want to make it a little more warming and gingerbreadish, but whatever you like. And then you're either going to do some vanilla extract. I am out of that today, but I do have some vanilla stevia drops. So I'm going to put some of those in there. And I'm also going to put in some coconut sugar. Now, I don't actually need this because I did put some stevia in there. But I'm going to put it in because I like the color that it makes my nog. It makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit more brown. So let's give that a stir to make sure everything dissolves and incorporates. So once that's all dissolved, then just put a lid on top of that pot and let it come up to heat. While that's heating up, what we're going to do over here is take a small amount of water. It doesn't matter exactly how much, but a couple tablespoons. And then you're going to take some kind of starch. So arrowroot, cornstarch, potato starch, anything like that will work. And you're going to put that into the water. Stir it up so that it completely dissolves. The reason we're doing this separately is that if it hits hot water, the starch will immediately turn to goop. But if we dissolve it in the cold water over here and then add it to the hot water, it'll thicken it just a little bit so that we get more of that nog-like texture by thickening our non-dairy milk. Now once it's at a full-on boil, you're gonna get some foam on the top. If you want, you can scrape this off because it's gonna have some of the spices that aren't gonna dissolve into the milk, but they've infused their flavor in there already. So now we're going to put the starch mixture in there, give it a stir to make sure it's still properly dissolved. Pour it in, and then you wanna stir. Make sure that you keep stirring this so that it doesn't get chunky in one area. You just want it to thicken overall. And the amount we're putting in here, it isn't gonna thicken a lot. It's just gonna thicken slightly. At this point, I take out a spoon and let it cool off so that I can taste it. Mm, super tasty. Now, you can strain this through a cheesecloth to make sure you get rid of any fiber that might be in there, 
from the starch or from the nut milk or from the spices. Or you can just go with the flow, stir it up, and dish it into cups. Whether you're mixing it with something, having it on its own, nice warm glass of spicy, delicious nog. So there you go, you can have it hot, you can have it cold. My brother likes to add spiced rum. We've also tried it with brandy, which is very nice. Um, but anyway, however you enjoy it, hope you like my take on holiday nog. If you're wondering what you're gonna make for your holiday meal, and you wanna do it in a nutrient dense way, and do it vegan, then be sure to check out my guide. It includes a menu that has uh, choices for 30 plus recipes that you could make for main dishes, side dishes, desserts, and drinks like this. Like nog, there's some mulled wine, there's some hot chocolate in there for you to give a try. So the link for that will be down below. It's on right now for just $9, so really easy way to help narrow down the choices of what recipes you're gonna try for your holidays. All right, leave me a thumbs up if you like my nog. Leave me some comments down below if you have any questions. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week sharing vegan recipes, nutrition tips, and inspiration. Thanks guys, see you again soon.